Hi, this is Steve Sokol from Open Flight Solutions, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to update a flight box using the flight box web user interface. The first step is to download the update file, and to do that, we're going to go to the Open Flight Solutions website. So go to your browser, and in the address bar, enter www.openflightsolutions.com. Press enter, and the page will load. Now we're going to go and download the beta version, which uh, currently is being used for AHARS, but we will probably be maintaining beta versions going forward, so you'll always be able to find it in this place. Go to Support, and under Support, you'll see that there are a number of support resources. Scroll down until you find the Flightbox Updates section, and in there is a beta release. We're going to go to the uh, Flightbox beta firmware page to actually do the download. So click here, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll actually find the download link right here. Click the download link and download the file to your computer. Do not try to open this file. The file isn't actually something you can use on your computer. It has to be uploaded to the flight box using the web user interface, which we'll do in the next step. Now, before we can do that, we're going to need to connect up to the flight box. So what you're going to need to do next is fire up the flight box so that it creates its Wi-Fi network, and then we'll connect to that Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and get your flight box up and running. In order to connect up to the flight box, you of course have to have it running, and then you're going to have to go to the Wi-Fi configuration for your computer. Disconnect it from your home router or office router and connect it up to the fly, uh, flight box Wi-Fi. On a Mac, it's simple. Simply come up here to the uh, Wi-Fi icon, click on it, find the flight box in your list, select that, and you'll see it goes into this sort of connecting state. It's going to stay that way because when you're connected to a flight box, it doesn't actually connect all the way to the internet. It's simply a local connection, and that's how the Apple uh, engineers have chosen to display that. Now, if you're on a PC, you'll do roughly the same thing, but you'll go down to the system tray, you'll find the Wi-Fi icon there, click on it, and again, select the flight box network. Now that you're connected to the flight box network, the next thing you need to do is take the browser and point it to the flight box's IP address. So go to the address bar at the top, clear it out, and put in 192.168.10.1. Again, that is 192.168.10.1. Period 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 then press enter, and here you see the, uh, the flight box web user interface. Now to do the update, we're going to need to go to settings over here, and then you'll see that there's an option here. Now we're on version 1.0 R1, and we're installing the AHARS beta. Uh, one thing you might notice is back over here on status, it shows your version number, so you'll know that uh, when you're done, that it's done the update properly. So again, go to settings, and we're going to select the file by clicking on this box down here where it says click to select system update file. We will find the file that we downloaded. Now something to notice, the file is right here, uh, update-stratix-ahars0.5.1-flightbox- uh, and then the uh, build ID. Now you want to make absolutely certain that there is not a space in that name. If you've downloaded it a couple of times, you can wind up with it where it creates a, a second and a third copy, and it will put a space in there, and that can brick your system. So don't uh, don't do that. Make sure you've got um, you know a version that does not have any spaces in it. Select it, click open, and you'll see it shows up in here in the uh, the, uh, the window. Install the update. In order to do that, simply click this one more time. Go click. And then it'll take a couple of seconds, it'll do the uh, upload, and then you'll see this message. So it's telling you that uh, in about 60 seconds the update will be complete. Now while this is happening, do not unplug your flight box. Make sure the power doesn't go off because it'll leave it in kind of a, a sort of stuck state. Uh, it'll take literally about a minute, and the system will do two reboots. Um, if you've got the cover off and you can see the lights down on the Raspberry Pi, you'll, go through, you'll see it go through two sets of uh, restarts. And then when it's done, um, you'll actually have the new version installed. Now, if you actually have the AHARS hardware, as a matter of fact, you'll see the, uh, the lights come on um, on the, uh, the indicator LEDs to show you that you know, it's up and running. So after 60 seconds, go ahead and click OK, and it should go back to the, uh, the main menu again, back to the status screen. Now, you'll notice that, yes, the uh, update has completed. 
and you see version ahar uh, 0.5.1 and then that build ID. So the uh, update has taken place, but you'll also notice that this looks more or less the same. And up here, it doesn't say anything about Flightbox uh, Ahars beta. Well, that's because you have to do a hard refresh or flush the cache on your browser. Otherwise, you'll wind up with all kinds of oddities. In fact, if we look at the GPS screen, you'll see all kinds of missing information uh, because it's using an old version of the code with a new version of the Flightbox. So to get the right information, you can either, again, clear the cache and then reload, or you can do a hard refresh which on um, a Mac is Command Shift, hold down Command and Shift and press R. On Windows, it's Control, hold down Control and press F5. So we'll do that here, Command Shift R, and there you go. You see it reloads and you actually get uh, uh, the page as you're expecting to see it. Now you may need to do this on all of the pages. So again, let's go back to our GPS and AHARs and yeah, we're still not seeing what we expect. So hold down Command and Shift, and press R, or if you're again on a, a PC, hold uh, down Control and press F5. Um, we'll do that one more time down here on the settings page because we don't see anything about the new AHARS uh, altitude sensor, etc. So hold down our uh, characters, tap, and there we go. Now we have everything we need. We can even go and turn on our attitude sensor and our altitude sensor. So that is the process of installing an update. Pretty straightforward. Shouldn't be a problem for anybody. If you have questions, though, please let us know. Thanks.